I'm Jeremy from Rockin' Wheels. I'm here today with the king, the Goliath, the Honda Pioneer 1000. This is the five-seater version where we've got the convertible back seats that will show you how they work. So what Honda did with this is they wanted to put a stamp on they can make you have the best side-by-side off-road experience and be able to bring your whole family with you. Technology that we find in this 1000cc engine, liquid-cooled and fuel and uh, fuel injection as well. It's going to make an engine that is very reliable. It's Honda. They have a focus on fuel efficiency, so you're not going to be burning a ton more gas what you need to. But the crown jewel of this is the dual clutch transmission. I talk dual clutch transmission. I've sold a lot of side by sides, a lot of ATVs, and I don't talk about that on anything other than this. I used to work uh, for a Porsche and Audi dealer in Ottawa where dual clutch transmission were the new thing. Uh, kind of a automatic transmission that shifts even quicker when we think of that transmission What you get is all the advantages of fully manual transmission with the quick shifts and the advantage of an automatic transmission Honda has put that in a side-by-side. -side. So in this guy we have a six-speed dual clutch transmission We could fully run an automatic or we could shift ourselves and it's all going to be instant shifting On the Honda 1000 that they've given us is LED lights. We've got a big bumper and we've got some nice 26 inch wheels with 14 inch rims and if we come over to the side your front and your rear passengers have a standard half door with all the netting and the complete rollover protection that we need. All five passengers in here have a full three-point harness for safety as well. This model is the Pioneer 1000 in the standard form. We also have the LE. So when we're gonna to go to the LE package that we offer, they offer a more adjustable Fox suspension, a full aluminum skid plate underneath, a bigger front bumper, and a couple of extra little things. So here is the most innovative thing, apart from the transmission, that Honda has done. If we take a look in this rear box right now, we have it configured where we have cargo space here, and we have passenger space here. So we could flip this down and have a big cargo bed, or we could flip this up and have five passengers. So our door opens as a suicide door. And to open the back part, very easy. We just bring that up, we clip it in, undo the seat, pull that down, and we're ready for our two person passenger configuration back here. Another thing to note on our ATV trails in Ontario and Quebec, uh, it does state that for all the passengers, their feet have to be able to touch the floorboard. If we look at the position here, yes, you could fit an adult, but definitely kids are gonna be the most comfortable back here. The other technologies that Honda have integrated in this machine, it does offer 10 inches of suspension on all four corners. The suspension that's in there, when we do have back passengers, is sensing, so it'll, low, it'll level out the load. So you're not going to be having the back end low when you do have people back here. They also integrated brake force distribution, which is making it so the front end won't dive when we're braking. So a lot of the technology that we find in cars that are unheard of in ATVs and side-by-sides, we do find on the Honda lineup. That's what sets them apart, is they're taking everything that they know and they're putting it in these packages. So looking at the dash layout that we have here, it is driver focused, very reminiscent of a car. We've got our gauge pod here where we'd see traditionally for a car, we've got the nice paddle shifts that we don't see in anything else but Honda products. And we have our selectable gear selectors because we still have a low gear for the output for the transmission. We could choose between our automatic transmission or manual transmission, or we could put it in sport where it's gonna keep our RPMs a little bit higher and keep us in the range we wanna be. Also, Honda advises us that depending on the, st the throttle input that we're putting, if we are driving more aggressive, the transmission will cope with us and let us do what we need to do. Oh, and then if we turn our, our view to the four wheel drive system. So we've got two wheel, we've got four wheel, and then we can lock that front diff. We can also go in turf mode. So in turf mode, that rear differential is gonna unlock and it's gonna make it so we're not tearing everything up. And if we talk about storage capacity, we've got some nice glove boxes, everywhere lots of storage space and if we look at the layout here we're going to be comfortable for three passengers up front here plus our two in the back so in terms of a 1000 power steering sport side by side 
this has got to be the king. That dual clutch transmission definitely delivers on the promise of making for, wow, we're right in that torque range every second. And I can't feel the shifts. So let's just say that's a good thing for sure. Woohoo! A little bit of mud. Can't even tell I'm in mud with this thing. Very good protection there for uh, drivers from the mud. Oh, this is definitely good. You know, some people were a little concerned with the Honda that it was down on power. But with the dual clutch transmission, the difference is we lose zero power. And I could guarantee you that is real. Thing sideways is not hard at all. Now let's see here. Found some nice flat ground. And we're just gaining speed. Effortless. Uh, around 90k an hour and it just feels small. It uh, feels good. So if you got some dirt roads to do on the way to the trails. <laughs> and to think I could be in five people in this. You know what I mean? Like it it doesn't it doesn't feel like a big boat. It, Let's throw it in sport and uh, or manual. We're gonna we're gonna put it in automatic sport. Oh yeah, it's keeping those RPMs up a little bit more. Definitely have their suspension and power steering and all that dialed in. Yeah, this works awesome. something here if I could get you to take a look in here this spring is dual rate what they do with dual rate is so we could have a plush rod but when we're taking everything we need out of the suspension the ending is going to be a little bit more stiff so it's offering us the best of both worlds something Honda did